tail of the tape for our next one in the featherweight division, sponsored by the new movie Kick-Ass. Anyone can be a superhero. Kick-Ass, now playing in theaters everywhere. UFC veteran and a great fighter in the cage, Leonard Garcia, seven years the elder of Chan Sung Jung, who will have the reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. Ten wins, one loss, standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, Chan Sung, the Korean Zombie. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record. 17 wins, five losses, one draw, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Lubbock, Texas, Leonard Bad Boy Garcia! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is John Shorley. John Shortley, our referee. Hey, go back. Go back, go back, go back. The battle of featherweights. Here, live on Spike. On a night when the featherweight title is on the line on pay-per-view. Sung Jung Garcia fights dead over three five-minute rounds. We are underway. White trunks for the Korean zombie. Black trunks for Leonard Bad Boy Garcia. I've never seen Garcia fight before. He has big power in his hands, especially the right. Had that spectacular UFC debut, Joe, against Roger Huerta. Fought Alan Berube, Cole Miller in the UFC, and has since moved on to have glorious performances here in the cage, including his win over Little Evil Jens Pulver. Well, he's down at 145 pounds, which is where I think he, he belongs. It's the perfect weight class for him. He was just a little bit too small for 155, but uh, his power really translates here at 145. 10 and 1 is the Korean Zombie making his organizational debut here tonight with the inside leg kick. Garcia's oh. heavy handed, and he delivered one there over the top again. Great oh. angles. Garcia with the knee. They are engaging toe to toe. Garcia is swinging for the fences. That's wow. his job. He's standing right in the pocket. The Korean zombie. Oh, oh he got rocked. Oh, he caught him. Big shots by Garcia. Jung is hanging in there. How good is this? Boom. Look at the way Garcia throws these punches. It's like he's throwing a fastball. Garcia's roommate, best friend, co owner of the ranch. Donald Cerrone on pay-per-view later tonight as well. Garcia training in Albuquerque, New Mexico with Greg Jackson's great team. What a start to this battle at 145. Knockout or be knocked out. Yeah, exactly. John can take it, man. He, he took some big shots there. Sand Sung, Good Chan elbow Sung by Chung. Chung with the elbow, and he's always moving forward. Korean top team, nice kick. Looking to pick knee. Garcia apart now. Garcia may be slowing down here, Mike. <laughs> Chung is pouring it on. Reckless abandonment. The description used by many in talking about the Korean zombie. Garcia is slowing down, Mike, and Jung senses that. He's moving forward. He's losing steam in his punches and kicks. Leonard was trying to set up that switch kick a moment ago, and Sung Jung just pushed him away, Joe. Greg Jackson calling for the double Head jab kick. from Leonard. Jung's walking him down now, Mike. The effort that Garcia throws into those punches really wears you down because it's like he's sprinting. You know, every punch he throws, it's 100% full effort. Chuck oh, caught again. Him. Garcia got rocked. Sung Jung looking to finish. He's all over him. John Shorley right on top of the action. He's throwing that leg up. He's looking for an arm bar, Mike. He's looking for an arm bar or an omoplata at the same time. 
See as he pulls that leg across the shoulder? He can either trap the left arm for an omoplata or the right arm for an arm bar. Okay, right arm's out. All he's got is the omoplata left. And the Queen Zombie is free. Right back to the ground and pound. Greatest nickname ever? Uh, it might be right might there. Be. Right yeah, absolutely. The Queen Zombie. <laughs> Still a minute left in this action-packed first round. Garcia is taking some big shots. He gets back Looking up to set feet, up the but knee. He wants to clinch. He is exhausted, Mike. Look at him. Garcia's a gamer. We've seen him fight many times, Joe. He's game, but that style, that all-out style. I mean, he took a chance early in the fight, but he's exhausted now because of it. Head kick. He just ate that one. 35 seconds left. <laughs> Garcia gets rocked again. Oh, man. Once, twice. And Jung just is relentless. I guess this is the nickname, the Korean Zombie. Yep, oh, Sung Jung. Now. You know what? Leonard Garcia got hit with a little punch. But they're going to continue to battle. 20 seconds. Chan Sung Jung caught him, and Garcia reacted. But he fights right through it. I, I would like to find out the origin of the nickname, because I think it's his ability to just absorb punishment and keep walking <laughs> forward. Thus, the Zombie. Well, Garcia said he is the Korean version of me. What a great first five minutes. That was awesome. This place is on its feet. Standing ovation here. Wow. They're stomping on the stands. This place is going bananas. As it should. <laughs> and it all started right from the now very look at the beginning. Way, look at the way Garcia wings these punches. And John's just charging at him. And John's winging him the same way. I mean, this is just chaos. Wow. Every punch Garcia throws is like a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. And there's the punch that dropped him. And John just jumps on him. Let's take a look again. Boom. The left hook and the right hand right afterwards. He was falling from the left hook, caught him again with the right, and Garcia smiling as he's down, which is a, usually a sure sign that he got tagged. And here's the armbar attempt. He's trapping the right arm for the armbar, but also concentrating on trying to attack the left arm. But Jung got out of it easily. And here again, Jung just pouring it on. So good early part of the round for Garcia, but from then on, from the middle to the end, was all Jung. Chan Sung Jung, Leonard Garcia. Bringing it here tonight, Arco Arena, Sacramento, California. Don't forget, top of the hour, Aldo versus Faber, live on pay per view. Head kick by Jung again. Garcia coming from all kinds of crazy angles. This oh, he caught him with the right hand. Oh, Jung's hurt. And again with the right hand, ducking under. He's hurt his again. Song Jung. Garcia with another right. This is a Rocky movie, man. This man, is crazy. What is holding these guys together? Look at the way Garcia holds his hand back for that punch. He is truly like a Korean zombie right this now. This is crazy. Oh, spinning back fist attempt. Wow. Oh, they exchanged them. Look at this smile. Garcia going to load up on that right hand again. Chan Sung Jung was rocked on his feet and continue to stand in the pocket. Garcia, we had no doubt that that was what he was gonna bring tonight. Farm boy pedigree, coming off a fight of the night performance, Garcia against George Roop, looking for another fight of the night performance. Right here, live on Spike. Good knee on the exit. There's a cut in the left eye of Jung. One, two. Garcia doesn't have a slider. He doesn't have an off-speed pitch. It's fastball, fastball. Boom to the body. Head kick. What a 
great display of heart and brute force here at 145. Don't forget, top of the hour, only on pay-per-view. Jose Aldo, Uriah Faber for the featherweight title. Lightweight title on the line as well. The rematch between Ben Henderson and Donald Cerrone. Brown, Gamburian, Jorgensen, Manuelos, and Jacolani. And Wool are all on the card tonight. One, two. Oh. Midway point of Just this fight. Back. Oh, beautiful. Got both hooks in, Joe. Garcia is trying to spin and turn out into Jung's guard. And Jung recognized that, locks on the body triangle. And Garcia correctly moves towards the side the triangle's locked in on to try to put pressure on the knee. Garcia and Sung Jung back on their feet. This place is deafening, Mike, and we're only in the second round. I don't know if these guys can keep this up for three. Uh, unbelievable pace. Unbelievable punishment taken by both fighters. Garcia was rocked in round one. Sung Jung early in round two. Again for bad boy. The knee, the answer from the South Korean. Punching power, granite jaw aggressiveness, all amongst the many ways that San Chung Jung has been described as a fighter, and we've seen all of that here. Not a lot of bouncing around, Joe. A lot of standing in the pocket and you throw, I throw. Let's see who stands at the end. Jump just constantly pressuring Garcia. Big knee and another. And he tags him with a right hand. He is all over Garcia, Mike. Oh, yes, he is. Garcia's heard his mouthpiece drops. Still time, Joe. 40 seconds. Garcia going to get his mouthpiece. And bring it. Garcia swinging for the fences. Technique is out oh, the he window, landed that Mike. uppercut and the knee. This is the Korean and the American zombie. 15 seconds. Ever seen. What a performance. Wow. This is this is awesome. And look at that. The former champion who's in our main event on pay-per-view is loving it. Take a look at some of the action. Yeah, Bam. I mean, look at this. Clips him. It looked like John was hurt. I mean, look at the way these guys are throwing punches. I mean. You're not supposed to be able to throw punches like this. And here, it was a beautiful job that Jung did of taking the back of Leonard Garcia, controlled it for a little while. Garcia rolled once he locked the triangle on and got out of it. And here's Jung at the end of the round, just teeing off on Garcia. Garcia smiling at him, loses his mouthpiece, stands in the pocket, takes shots. And look at this uppercut. That came from his grandmother's house. <laughs> I mean, these these are the most telegraphed, wild, swinging punches. This is just wild. Love that kid, the bad boy. What a great debut for Chan Sung Jung. Five minutes remains in the fight. Close fight. Both men close to being finished. Good kick by Sung Jung. Garcia with the jam. Garcia looks reinvigorated, Mike. It looks like he caught a second win. He's put in the training 7,200 feet. He trains at in Albuquerque, New Mexico, lives up on the farm with Donald Cerrone, his best friend, the 10-acre ranch in New Mexico. 
Well, just doing that, just being at altitude, is a significant advantage coming down here to sea level. No question. He's up on his toes, yeah, too, he's, now. He's definitely recovered. But Chang Sung Jung is still pushing forward. And in round one, after he exploded early, looked like Sun Jung might take advantage of a bit of a fatigue, Leonard Garcia, but what a great recovery. And Jung has, has done this in every round, Mike. He started off fairly slowly, let Garcia wear himself out a little bit, and he comes and pours it on towards the middle and through the end. Leonard seems to be a bit more of a technician here in the early part of round three, though, picking his spots, maybe for that exact reason, Joe. Oh, he's attacking now. And here, here comes Jung. He's gonna wait for the opportunity a little bit later to explode with that last bit of cardio. You saw Uriah Faber in his locker room. He's trying to gain his belt back from the dangerous Brazilian, Jose Aldo. Top of the hour, Aldo versus Faber, available only on pay-per-view. If you are a mixed martial arts fan, that is mixed martial arts at its finest. One of the most exciting divisions, two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet, going at it in Uriah Faber's hometown. Former champion Mike Brown on the card. Lightweight title, it's the rematch. Ben Henderson, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Last round, last round. Call your cable or satellite provider, use your remote, or go to UFC.com for ordering information. Aldo versus Faber, live on pay-per-view. Just a matter of moments away. Spinning back kick. And it is a stacked card from top to bottom tonight. Shane Roller, Anthony Andrukawani. How about the Jorgensen Banuelos oh, rematch? Oh man, that's gonna be crazy. Banuelos, best mustache in mixed martial arts. <laughs> Chuck Liddell, print training partner. Blood rolling down the right side of the face, or really kind of behind the ear of the Korean zombie. Two minutes, 15 seconds left in this great battle. And Chan Sung Jung is starting to turn it on now, Mike. Garcia, boom. Garcia's fighting a smarter fight in this third round, though, Mike. Picking his shots, pacing himself a little better. Oh! And right as you say that, Joe, the South Korean zombie pushes forward. That's kind of what I alluded to earlier. Garcia, a little bit more disciplined, maybe because you're getting deeper in and you don't want to leave yourself vulnerable by getting too wild with your strikes too early in the round. Well, I think it's also he probably listened to his corner, tighten up his defense. I like that fake, it was like a bark. <laughs> and again. Man, I hope this is a precursor to what we're gonna see from these great featherweights on pay-per-view tonight. Yeah, every fight tonight's been outstanding. Yep. And, you know, and that is the thing about these lighter weight classes, just faster action, less breaks. Oh, just pointed on. Garcia trying to answer. Keeping these men standing. <laughs> Chan Sung Jung covering up. One minute remains in the fight. Huge knee from Garcia. Forty-five seconds. Kick was blocked. Jung just yelled at him. Jung's getting fired up. The so's Garcia. Bad boy. Saw him in his locker room earlier. He says, as always, ah, let's just go and fight. I want to put on a show. No disappointment here. 15 seconds. This is one of the best back and forth battles that you and I have had the opportunity to call. An all out brawl. Yeah, this is just crazy. I mean, it's like a scene in a movie. It wow. really is. And look at that embrace afterwards. It's one of the most beautiful things about this sport. Complete respect after these guys just bared their heart and soul. Outstanding. How do you not love Leonard Garcia? Let's take a look at this again. Spinning back fist attempt by Chan Sung Jung. And just attacking, connecting with almost every punch. And here's Leonard Garcia up against the cage. Jung pouring it on. 
And Garcia pushing forward. Just crazy back and forth action. Three rounds of it. Sure. What a great start to our pay-per-view this evening. Arco Arena, Aldo versus Faber. Anthony Pettis victorious over Alex Karalexis. Chan Sung Jung, Leonard Garcia put on a show. Will Sung Jung, the Korean zombie, reign supreme in his debut? Or will Bad Boy get the nod in this beatdown? are rendering what is a very tough decision. Folks, did we win? We got that, baby. We got it, baby. It's us. It's us, baby. It's us. Confident corner of Leonard Garcia. Are they correct or not? What's that? What's that? Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Hamilton scores it. 29-28, Garcia. Judge Villardo scores it. 29-28, Jung. And Judge Stell scores the contest. 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Leonard!